Hey everybody, it's Carissa from The Sewing Shop and today I'm going to show you how to use the cut and hem foot, which looks like this here. It's also called a side cutter foot, just depends on the brand you get. Um, the purpose of this foot is actually to emulate a serger stitch. So if you don't have a serger at home, but you want that kind of reinforced look around your seams, um, you can use this foot here and it actually has a blade on it that cuts your material and gives you that finished edge. Um, when we put this foot on, it's important to know that we have to take our regular ankle and foot off and replace it with this. So that screw that holds your regular ankle on is going to go into this hole here. And this bar here is actually what your needle bar is going to rest inside of. And every time your needle bar comes up, it's going to lift that blade and then put that blade back down in order to cut your material. Um, another important thing to know about using this foot is the stitch you have to use. So we're doing a serger stitch, right? Or emulating one anyways. So you have to use what's called an overcasting stitch. Basically what this stitch looks like is a zigzag stitch with a straight line down the left hand side. On my machine, the Brother Essence, it is stitch 16, but it may be different on your machine, but it will always look like this here. Um, and so let's go now to putting the foot on the machine. We'll zoom back out. And what we're gonna do, like I told you earlier, is we're gonna take our regular ankle off. So we're gonna unscrew this one. You may have to use one of your screwdrivers that came with your machine to loosen that screw because we need it to be really tight. And then we're gonna take our foot and let me zoom in here so you get a little bit better of a visual on how we're gonna be putting it on the machine. So we're gonna come from the back with this foot and I know I'm gonna need to loosen it up a little bit more in order to wrap it around. So I'm gonna take it from the back and I'm gonna bring it forward. Okay, now it's on that bar, but we forgot to put this on the needle bar, right? So we're gonna slip it back, lift that up to get it on the needle bar and then come back forward. And we're gonna tighten that screw. You may have to hand tighten it at first and then once it gets as tight as you can by your hand, then use your screwdriver to um, tighten it back up all the way. Um, you can also use a coin if you don't have your screwdriver handy. Okay, so now when we have the foot on there, we have our stitch selected on our screen. It's important that you have your material, right? But you wanna put your material face to face or right sides together. And before you actually start, you wanna cut this tab out of one of the corners, okay? What that tab is, is it's allowing us to slip the material under the needle, um, but then the cutter will actually start over here, okay? So if, let me zoom in a little more for you. What we're gonna do is, there we go, that's perfect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that notch out there and we're gonna slide it under this little opening here. And when we have the material slid under where we know our needle is going to be, and you can see the knockout I cut lines up with the blade that's on the foot. So we're gonna put our foot down and we're going to start stitching. And it's just gonna move that material. And if you watch, every time that needle bar comes up, this blade also moves. So it's activating that cutting mechanism and it's actually cutting the material off of my fabric. So all you have to do is guide it and keep it straight and it's gonna do everything else for you as long as you know what seam allowance you want and everything like that. Okay. And when it gets to the end there, it's gonna finish up and we're going to of course stop the machine or reverse um, and then we're gonna cut our thread. And when you cut your thread, you're gonna lift your presser foot and bring it out and you should see that nice serger stitch that it's emulating along that seam or along the edge of that material there. And you can also see that when I open that material up, you have a nice reinforced stitch to where nothing should be coming loose. This is perfect for garment making. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I hope this helps you out when you're using this foot, kind of gives you some ideas. Um, but thank you guys for watching. And if you need anything or have any questions, you can call us at 318-869-1739.